Hello, I'm Eric, a sales rep here at Atlantic British. Uh, today we're going to talk about building up a Discovery 2 into an off-road vehicle. They've gotten really affordable now. You can pick up a D2 for $3,500 to $5,000, put three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 in it, and have a very good off-road vehicle. Um, this one we picked up a couple years ago. We've been driving it around. We've used it as a test mule, so now we're going to build it up into an off-road truck. With Doug's help, we're going to put suspension, front and rear bumpers, and then slowly build it up into a lifestyle truck. We'll have videos um, that'll show Doug doing each process, and we'll post those as time goes on. This truck's in good shape. It's very straight for the year, and we've had it for a few years, as I said. So stay tuned, and we'll have more information as time goes on. Hi, I'm Doug, your Tech Support representative here at Atlantic British, and welcome back to Project D2. Now, if you've been following the project, We've done a video showing the cargo rack for the Baja rack for the top of the D2, and we mentioned we were going to be also adding some accessories to it. Well, one of the first accessories we're going to do, and this is a very popular item, is the jerry can holder. Now, this unit it can be mounted on either an open grid top like this one, or it'll even work on a mesh top cargo carrier, or you can even use them on any of those mesh base uh, add-ons that will uh, hook up to your trailer hitch. You've seen them mounted on the back of vehicles, it just simply looks like a tray. But this will mount on those as well. And it's a very easy installation, it's just several nuts and bolts. And what you have is a base bracket that can be mounted right on top. They give you the two clamps that will grab underneath and grab the side rail along with four additional clamps that grab underneath the cross rails and they do a nice job because they also put foam inserts on all the brackets so they're not going to scratch up the metal on your on your cargo rack you get all your hardware and they even give you a little tube of grease so that you grease up the bolts when you put it together because this is exposed to the elements should you ever want to change its position or move it with the grease bolts they're going to come out a lot easier so it's nice that they put that thought into it so this is a fairly relatively easy installation. Uh, we have the, this on the ground so that we can show you basically the location. Something you want to consider is that when you put a cargo rack on top, you're obviously going to have a ladder in the back of the vehicle. So you don't want to put this where it's going to be blocking your access from the ladder. So in this case, the Discovery 2, the ladder is going to be coming up in that right left, in the rear left corner. So we're going to mount this bracket over here so it's out of the way so you still have full access to the rack. So we're going to bolt this down and we're going to show you what it looks like completed. Alright, so now we have the bracket mounted up. What I did is I'm going to show you on the bottom how the brackets look. You have four cross braces underneath and along with the two uh, clips that bolt on that grab around the side rail. So between the four mounts and the two add-ons that grab the rail, that bracket's not going anywhere. And that's a good solid hookup. So now we're going to set this down and we're going to show you how to mount the jerry cans. All right, so here's the top view of your bracket and how it's going to lay on top of this cargo uh, carrier. And then we're going to take our first jerry can, set that in just like so. And we'll clip this on. That'll hold that in place. And then the second can. I recommend when you put the cans in, obviously, your your open area, your opening is going to be up and not down. Lay our top brace on. And then we just thread in that large thumb screw. You don't have to crush it, just get it snug so that there's no free play moving around. We'll set that in place and then as a safety precaution they also give you a large washer and we put in a clip to make sure that that can't back off all the way. So there you are, your jerry cans are in place, nice and secure, not going anywhere and it definitely adds to the look of the cargo. So when you're ready to add your jerry can adapter to your Baja rack, just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen, 1-800-533-2210 and thanks for watching.